Tonight will be the first night that we play Wayne's music. Up till now, it's been our own music as a reflection of the inspiration of Wayne's life and music and philosophy and, uh, and, and um, you know, the, the vision that he's shared with all of us through his music. Um, Joe and I had been talking about doing something for a number of years and, you know, I would run into him and we would talk it over and we went back and forth on what we should do and this just seemed like the most natural way to, to bring some original music in and really um, celebrate the continuum in the music and celebrate somebody that's really important to both of us artistically. Well, there's nothing like playing a lot of gigs. Um, you know, Joey Barron is one of the great drummers in the, in the scene. Uh, and Lawrence Fields is a pianist that I didn't know that Joe brought in and really fills a wonderful uh, place in the band. Um, so I think, you know, like any band, there's nothing like playing a lot of gigs. And it just feels great to have this camaraderie at this point and communication and trust. And that's, I think, for Joe and I, I don't know, you'll talk to Joe, you may get a different story. But I, I feel like, you know, that's the important thing, that we're all a part of a team, that we're really playing together, and that everybody's finding their own way to put their own personal imprint on the music. And um, by doing that, push into some new territory, find some, some places we haven't been before, and see what's over there. Well, you know, like most things, it got talked about for a long time. So, you know, there was always this idea that this was going to happen. And then um, the catalyst was the Monterey Jazz Festival and Tim Jackson deciding this was something he wanted to see happen. So it was a commission for Wayne to write these pieces for us. And, you know, once, I think once he got going, he couldn't stop because the pieces are really substantial. There's a lot of music. There's two of them and they're both uh, very deep and very, you know, Wayne's language. It's beautiful harmony and uh, surprising bass lines and uh, key changes. And they're both sort of through composed. They start one place and they just keep evolving and keep moving. And you know we're we're taking our own approach to playing them we're not we, we felt like you know and I think and Wayne said this himself you know don't do it the way I would do it do it your own way so that this, you know that's been a really interesting process I think that Wayne's quartet is a very influential band right now and the language the way that they improvise together is a very difficult thing for people to come to terms with because they're truly fearless and they really explore places then they don't know where they're gonna go and they may explore an alley and there may be a blind alley, there may be nothing there. And that's supremely uh, courageous and, and wonderful. Uh, yeah, so I, I would say, you know, that with Soundprints, Joe and I and Lawrence, Linda and Joey, we're, we're not, we're, we're, we're not like, deciding on a philosophy of how we should play. We're not running away from the way, way Wayne would do it, and we're not trying to emulate anything. We're really trying to, in the most honest way, take these pieces and find, you know, what we have to say with that. In a way, just the way people do with Footprints or ESP or Fee Fi Fo Fum, any of his classic compositions, you play them. It's just that his language now much more involved. There's a lot more material in there that we're looking at. And I find myself asking if on his earliest pieces, even like, uh, you know, introducing Wayne Shorter on VJ, Pug Nose, and uh, I find myself wondering if there wasn't that same amount of material in those tunes. And then the way they chose to play it was to pare it away and He's constantly revising his, his work and reimagining, re so.